I guess while we're on it, talking about the chopper knives. Um, now again, as far as operation and, and the theory behind getting your combine to perform, we've got chopper knives, we've also got stationary knives. If good residue management is important to you, running your stationary knives pretty far in will help. But remember, there's a trade-off there. The more we put those knives in, the more horsepower it's gonna consume and take away from the rest of the machine. So that may sacrifice a little bit of ground speed or performance in other areas if we want the best chop quality possible. If that's not as important to you, um, or as a always rule in corn, pull those all the way out and just let the rotating knives do what they can do to chop that material up. Yes, Le leaving your stationary knives in is a no-no in corn. Um, one of the main things that'll happen is it will that chopper pan, you'll crack the chopper pan out, you'll damage your stationary knives as well. That as well as making sure you have the chopper in low, which we'll touch on that here shortly. Some of you may have the in-cab adjustable stationary knives. If you don't, there's just a handle here, quick and easy adjustment, but every little bit helps. Sometimes even in soybeans, just running the tip of those stationary knives in can make a big difference versus all the way out. So. Minimum effective dose, doing just enough to get that chop exactly where you want it. Yeah, you don't need to always run your knives fully in. Um, so often guys think it's either in or out. Well, what you can do is you can run it in halfway if you have fairly dry stubble and free up a lot of horsepower while still getting really good residue management. One thing that you're gonna wanna look at pre-season and during season is your chopper knife condition, the knives on your rotor. When looking at them, you wanna make sure that you still have somewhat of an edge. If you're starting to see the hard surfacing wear after, off of the tip when it's starting to curve back, that's getting to the point of replacement. One of the issues that you'll start to see when your chopper knives are starting to wear too much is chopper plugging. You'll start having issues with the machine plugging up in the back end and having to dig it out. A few things that you can do to help make your knives last longer is by not having your stationary knives in as far as you normally would, like we talked earlier, only put them in what you need them in. Another is to make sure you have the speed set for the proper crop conditions. Um, Nowadays with our increased soybean yields, which we're starting to see more and more higher yields throughout the country, but the downfall that we're having with that is our stems are so much greener. By having all these stems greener and having to run so much more stuff through the machine, these knives are gonna wear faster. So watch your spread pattern, watch your crop cut length. If you're not cutting it good enough, send them knives in. But if it is processing it, don't have the knives in any further than you have to. That will help your knives, your, your rotor knives on your chopper last longer. One other tip, you know, guys will get into harvest or, or be getting ready for harvest and maybe their knives won't make it a full season, they'll make it half a season. Well, my advice, it's probably better to change those knives pre-season because you know you're getting into soybeans where that'll be most important. It's easier to get away with some worn knives when you get into corn. They're using less, you don't need as much power back here. You're not chopping as much. Uh, put the fresh knives in for beans because even a, a half worn knife, if the life is still good, that edge has still worn and you're getting a little bit of a blunt edge uh, hitting that crop. So there'll be more horsepower consumption. The fresh knife will be sharp. It'll cut right through that material. You'll use less horsepower. And if you're going into soybeans first, it, it, like I said, it's a good idea. Put the fresh knives in first, and then if you want to put some half sets in or something like that, maybe when you get into dry corn, you can do that. Another thing to look to is as those knives wear, yeah, they're wearing on the tip, but another spot that they're wearing is where they pivot on the bushings. Um, we have, as they wear down, that bushing hole itself wears out and you can throw knives. If you do have a knife that gets thrown and your chopper is out of balance, when you go to replace that knife, you need to make sure that you're replacing the knife opposite of it as well. Um, because due to that knife being war, the knife opposite of it's gonna be war as well. Mm -hmm. And just in terms of balance, uh, I believe the operator's manual says this, but it, even if it doesn't, it's just good practice. This drum is one of the fastest spinning drums on the machine, if not the fastest, so balance is crucial. So if you do replace 
a, a set of knives, not just replacing the opposite side on the drum, but let's say it's one of your far left knives and you replace top and bottom for balance. Remember, you gotta balance left and right as well. So replace the, the equivalent sets on the right side so you're maintaining balance in that dimension as well.